Hi, I'm Liz Nedden. Let's have a look at question 3a part 4 in our level 2 probability exam from 2017. Here is our question. So, the question has now evolved, we're still talking about salmon, but now they're talking about combining the male and fe female salmon together and harvesting them. So when they're harvested, we're talking about the weight has now a mean of 4050 grams and a standard deviation of 84 grams. So the first thing I'm going to do is draw a little normal diagram and I'm going to add that information on. So that's got a mean of 4050 and a standard deviation of 84. Okay, now I'm going to read the rest of the question. When the salmon are harvested, each member is given two salmon to take home. Ah. So as soon as I see this, and this is an idea I've seen before in previous exams, and I want you guys to learn to recognize, finding two events. So that's talking about person number one is getting a salmon, and person number two is getting a salmon. So remember, and in probability terms means to multiply. Okay, so we're going to come back to that idea. Then the question below, then the next part below says, if they these two salmon are selected at random, what's the probability that both of the salmon will each weigh more than 4,025 grams? Okay, so 4,025. So I need to look at, first of all, my number line. Remember, zero's way down the bottom there, and the numbers are going up from left to right. So 4,050, that's where my mean is, and we're talking about 4,025, so that's some value below it. So I'm going to draw a line there below and put that number 4,025. Now it's talking about weighing more than, so more than means above. So I'm going to shade in the area above. Okay, and that's the probability that I want to find. So there's two ways that we can find that probability. One is using our graphics calculator, and the other is using our normal distribution tables. So I'm going to show you both of those. We'll start by doing the graphics calculator first. So let's have a look at that. So we're going to go into our stats menu. Then again, we will do our distribution. So dist, which is F5. Then we want our normal distribution, which is F1. And we are now finding a probability, so we want the NCD option. So the lower value, so we're looking, we've shaded an area from 4,025 and above. So I'm going to put a lower of 4,025. Then an upper value, well, we've shaded everything above it. So I'm just going to put in a large number that's much, much bigger. So let's put in 10,000. We have a standard deviation of 84 and we have a mean of 4,050 grams. And if I press execute, that finds me the P, the probability, of 0 0.61700303. And I'd probably round that to four decimal places. Now let's have a look at how we would do it finding our normal distribution table. So remember, we've got our normal distribution, We've got our value of 4,025, and we want the area above it. Okay, so what I do know, remember, I've got to do some reasoning. With a normal distribution, half of the data is above the mean, half of it is below. So I'm just going to shade in this green piece here from the mean upwards. So that area there, okay, from that mean, that whole area there, that is 50%. Okay, what I need to do with the tables is figure out how big the second piece is, so how big this side here is. Okay, so that blue bit, that's what I've got to work out. And when I know how big this probability is, I can add them together to find the answer. So we're going to convert from our X distribution to our Z distribution. Remember the Z distribution has a mean of 0 and a standard deviation <coughs> excuse me, of 1. So we want to find the point 
down here, the z value, and it will be a negative because it's below zero, we want to find that z value so that the area above it is the same as the one in the diagram above. Okay, so to convert from x to z, we use our formula z equals x minus the mean over standard deviation. So in this case, our x value is 4025 minus the mean, which is 4050, divided by the standard deviation of 84, and that's going to give us a z value of... 0.298. Okay, so there's my first step. So, so that's what I found. Z is negative 0.298. Now I need to look that value up on my table to find the probability. Okay, so now remember the positive Z value will give me the same area above as the one below. So I'm going to look for 0 0.298, so the z value I'm looking down, first of all the side, and I want to go to the 0 0.2. I also want to look at the second decimal place as a 9, so across the top there I want to find that second decimal place of a 9, and the third decimal place is an 8, so there's my third decimal place. So now let's match all of that up. So that gives me if I match up first to the 0 0.29, that gives me this value of 0 0.1141. And the 8 gives me the difference there of 31. So I'm going to add that together, and that is going to give me 0 0.1172. So I've just found that this area here is 11.72%. Now remember, we want all of the area above, so I've got to add on the 50%. So that will give me a total area of 61.72%. Okay, so there's our probability. Now what we need to do is the calculation. So let's move ahead. So we have found the probability that x is more than 4025. That's the same as the probability that z is more than negative 0.298. And that is the value of 0 0.617. Okay. Now the question said, what's the probability that both of the salmon will weigh more than that? So remember we had that idea about person 1. So the, um, sorry, not person 1. Salmon 1 is more than 4,025 grams. And salmon 2 is more than 4,025 grams and meaning multiplying. So I need to multiply 0 0.617 by 0 0.617 and that's going to give me the probability for both which gives us a value of 0 0.3807 and that is our final answer. So let's have a look at how this gets marked. So if we were able to get the probability correct 0.617 so if we were able to get that value there, through either the graphics calculator or the normal table, that gets us a U. And if we're able to get the probability correct of 0.381, then that gets us our value of R. Thank you very much for watching. So feel free to visit my website, or there's a subscription button there you can click on, or there is the video playlist of further videos going through these exam answers.